Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Continuing the discussion on the axial flow compressor, so we started the stage dynamics. Now we have also looked at the uh, how the pressure increases. Now we will continue from here what actually the best possible operation that we are talking about. So um, this is what we have already looked at that uh, uh, what can stop the pressure rise. So, best operation or best possible operation for or rather for best operation one can think about delta T naught by T naught 1 which is u delta v theta by C p T naught 1 which will be always small. So, P r c would be 1 plus eta s t delta t naught by C p t naught 1 gamma by gamma minus 1. So, eta s t less than 1 delta t naught by t naught 1 would be less than 1. And P r c is little higher than 1 for best operation. So, there will be, so P r c is little higher than 1 for best operation. So, which will lead to no flow separation. Okay. So, that equivalent to 1 plus eta s t gamma by gamma minus 1 delta t naught by t naught 1. So, what we get P r c is 1 plus eta s t gamma minus gamma by u delta v theta C p t naught 1. Now, further simplification what it gives gamma minus 1 by gamma into C p is r. So, if we put it back we will get P r c 1 plus eta s t delta v theta r t naught 1. So, for these are design point analysis at of design condition. Okay. Now, at of design condition one can look at what happens. So, let us consider the same blade passage with same velocity triangle. So, that means, if we consider the same velocity triangle. So, this is V 1, this is V z 1, W 1. So, this is u. So, this component is V theta 1. So, you have alpha 1. So, V theta 1 by now this is at station 1. So, V theta 1 by V z 1 is tan alpha 1 that means, V theta 1 is V z 1 tan alpha 1. Okay. Now, similarly at 2 we have the triangle. So, this is u again, this is w 2 beta 2 alpha 2 v 2 and this is your v theta 2. So, what we get w theta 2 by w z 2 equals to tan beta 2 is v z 2. So, we get w theta 2 v z 2 tan beta 2. 
Now, the theta 2 is u minus w theta 2. So, which one can write u minus v z 2 tan beta 2. So, that means delta v theta which is v theta 2 minus v theta 1 would be u minus v z 2 tan beta 2 minus v z 1 tan alpha 1. But we have v z 2 is v z 1, so flow remains axial. So, that let us have v theta 2 equals to u minus v z tan beta 2 plus tan alpha 1. So, one can rearrange that. So, delta v theta which is delta h naught that means h naught 2 minus h naught 1 which is u u minus v z tan beta 2 plus tan alpha 1. So, we get delta v theta by u delta h naught by u square 1 minus v z by u alpha 1 plus tan beta 2. So, that is let us say. So, this is the non dimensional parameter. Okay. Now, what will happen at of design conditions is that now of design m dot which means there is a change in v z or if there is a of design rotational speed there is a change in u no matter what it is it is actually changes beta and alpha. So, it the performance effect. So, the change in performance. Now, there is a effect of the change of m dot on design conditions. Okay. So, one can do that let us assume small change is small changes in beta 1 does not affect beta 2. So, which means the blade provides strong enough flow guidance such that the outlet angle is independent of the inlet angle and only blades uh, angles appearing in equation 1 are outlet angles. So, which means beta 2 would be the flow angle from rotor alpha 1 is the flow angle from preceding stator. Okay. So, in total tan alpha 1 plus tan beta 2 is constant. So, which assuming this while the inter results of departure from design condition are concentrated in a single variable v z by u. So, what we get a single variable for of design operations that is v z by u. Now, we can plot this uh, parameters like uh, this is how we can plot that delta h naught by u square 
this is b z by u ok and delta h naught by u square is the ratio of basically uh, total energy. So, this is total energy divided by blade kinetic energy which is delta b theta by u. So, this plot would look like an curve like an this. So, So, this is your tan alpha 1 plus tan beta 2 at design and this is measured and this guy B z by u at design. Similarly, you can plot eta s t. This is which will look like that and this is b z by u again this is b z by u design and this is measured. Okay. So, from this one the curve 1, so there is a small departure from the design conditions of delta h naught by u square agree quite closely with the ideal value and little effect on the measured stage efficiency. And the second point is that larger departure from the design case will have large differences between actual and ideal work. So, this is due to possible boundary layer separation. So, one can look at this parameter by analyzing like beta 1 which could be uniquely determined by u z b z by u and other parameters. So, with that one can look at that. So, let us see when we have like u is constant and v z changes. Okay. So, we can have a situation where you have this blade. So, separation took place So, this is what you can think about, this is positive incidence flow separation, where v z by u is less than v z u by design point. So, the triangle is like this. So, W 1, beta 1, alpha 1, B 1 and this is V z 1 and W 1 this is the beta 1. So, second situation could be no separation. So, where my v z by u is v z by u design that means, the passage would look nicely behaved. So, this is what would happen. And the velocity triangle also looks nice. 
So, this is V 1 W 1 U beta 1 alpha 1. So, we have V z 1 or we can have negative incidence flow separation. So, which means it could be like this. So, the flow separate from here So, the flow separate. So, again this remain similar. So, here the V z by u is greater than V z by u design. This is V 1 W 1 beta alpha B z 1. Okay. So, qualitatively the results would have been the same if u had been varied while V z was held constant. So, in this case now the main point is that the for sufficiently large departure for from V z by u design the boundary layer separates. When that happens blades are no longer effective in controlling the flow. So, beta and beta and alpha 1 that changes. So, that causing the drop in delta V theta by u. So, also you have eta s t that decreases. So, flow separation results in increased viscous losses. So, obviously, the compressor efficiency also eta c also drops below the uh, design point okay, or the design value. Now, this kind of flow separation that may induce unsteadiness in the flow causing the compressor surge. So, so far what we have been looking at all these are the single stage, but in the multi stage also now in multi stage case small departure from design conditions small departure from design conditions at the first stage causes progressively increasing departure in later stages. Okay. So, now if you consider a multi stage compressor having same characteristics for each stage. So, your design point is same value of V z u for all stages. Now, consider that at a constant speed which is u is constant. Now, the flow rate into the compressor is slightly reduced. So, what will happen V z by u which drops. Hence, delta h naught by u square this goes up as V z by u drops down in first stage. So, work done increases. Now, stage pressure rise P r s t also increases for this stage. So, 
density also increases for this stage at the exit of this particular stage. Now, when you look at the at the entrance of next stage, what will happen? So, V z by u will further decrease because number a decrease in m dot number b since v z is m dot by rho a extra increase in p at the exit of the first stage. So, this enhances the departure from v z by u design number c v z by u decreases further. So, more work will be done causing more rise in pressure in next stage and further increase in rho. So, it is clear that there will be further reduction in V z by u at third stage and so on. So, as we keep on going stage after stage that is going to happen. So, thus the small reduction from so small uh, reduction from V z by u design at entrance of the first stage of the may lead to the positive incident of flow separation in the last stage. So, small reduction from V z by u design at entrance of the first stage may lead to positive incidence of flow separation in the last stage. Okay. So, this where compressor goes to surge. So, there is a high negative pressure gradient. Similarly, so a small increase, so small increase in V z by u at the first stage, which may cause negative incidence of flow separation in last stage. So, it is possible with front stages working normally the end stages could be forced to very high value of V z by u at the end stages, which may produce negative pressure rise. So, in that case, so this is what may possibly happen first stage or the beginning front stages are working fine, but the later stages may not behave properly. And this is where the compressor will no longer act as a compressor, it will act as a throttle. So, the problem of stage mismatch is more severe during in engine starting, especially for high PRC uh, requirement. So, this is the time where use requires high. So, there is a large variation in density of the air across the stages 
and the stages are designed with reducing blade height to accommodate this density variation and that is why the uh, blade height reduces towards the later stages. Okay. Now, the, during starting there is no variation in density and remains low until the compressor is working properly. So, axial velocity is no longer constant, axial velocity is no longer constant because V is m dot by rho a, a reduces, so V goes up. So, V z can be very high at the last stages and may choke the flow okay. and V z may be very high at last stages and may choke the flow, may choke the flow. So, what happens that during starting V z is V z is less than design. Now, at the first stage alpha and beta 2 are kept constant. So, these are keeping it constant. Now, we can draw the velocity diagram. So, these are for starting and these are for design. So, first stage So, this is how it goes. So, that is u w 2, this is b 2 w 1 b 1 alpha 1, alpha 2. Now, this could be design point, this is ok. So, this is what it first stage it goes like. So, where V z 1 would be V 1 cos alpha 1 which is W 1 cos beta 1, V z 1 design cos alpha 1 design, W 1 cos beta 1 design. So, cos beta 1 design cos beta 1, so beta 1 design would be uh, is less than beta 1. So, alpha 1 greater than alpha 1 design. So, this what happened at the first stage and similarly at the last stage also we can look at this, but we can see uh, these things uh, what happens in the conditions. So, when you go to the second stage similarly we can draw the velocity diagram and uh, look at the uh, these design conditions of the angles. So, we will stop it here and continue the discussion in the subsequent lecture.